welcome all of you once again. It's Backpack and again we are talking about Egypt. Egypt, the cradle of all civilizations. Talking about the beautiful sites here and talking about the ancient cultural sites. Many, many beautiful sites where you can enjoy your vacation. But I always say that there are some important locations or sites that you need to visit first if you want to learn really more about history. So this time I'm talking, for example, if you are talking about Cairo, the first thing that will come to your mind is the pyramids. Yes, you are right. The pyramids is one of the most important sites and it is a must-seeing site in Egypt. But first, I want to tell you something very, very important right after this. Ancient Egyptians believed that when they die, their spiritual body would continue to exist in an afterlife that is very similar to their living world. However, entry into this afterlife was not guaranteed. The dead had to negotiate a dangerous underworld journey and face the final judgment before they were granted access. Throughout the underworld journey, the diseased spirit would have to contend with gods, strange creatures, and gatekeepers to reach Osiris and the Hall of Final Judgment. And here, they would plead their case for entry into the afterlife. Egyptians believed that life on earth was only one part of an eternal journey which ended not in death but in everlasting joy. Once the body failed, the soul did not die with it, but continued on towards an afterlife where one received back all that one had thought lost. was born on earth through the benevolence of the gods and the deities known as the seven hat horse then decreed one's fate after birth the soul they went on to live as good as life as it could in the body it had been given for a time So 
death came, it was only a transition to another realm where, if one were justified by the gods, one would live eternally in a paradise known as the Field of Reeds, and sometimes they call it the Field of Offerings. Egyptians as Aru it was a mirror image of one's life on earth and the aim of every ancient Egyptian was to make that life worth living eternally and as far as records indicate they did their very best at that came the idea of building and preparing their tombs during their lives in a way that is even more prestigious than their homes to guarantee they have all their belongings and needs in their long journey in the afterlife. They desiccated their bodies for years in the afterlife and built pyramids. For them, they are resurrection machines that would ensure the Pharaoh had eternal life by transfiguring him into a star, living on in the night sky forever. talking about ancient Egypt, we were talking in particular about the pyramids, the Giza Pyramids Plateau. But before we talk about these pyramids, the most famous pyramids in Egypt, we are talking about the concept of building the pyramids, why these pyramids were built. And we have many other pyramids here located in Egypt. But also there is another important part, the tombs itself. Well, when we talk about the tombs also, we have different beliefs of ancient Egyptians about the concept and the idea of building tombs and the mummification of the diseases. So, today we are going to tell you more about it and more about it, how important it is. If you want to visit these places, you need to understand and you need to learn the concept of the mummification and also the concept of building the tombs here in Egypt. The first royal tombs called Mastawas were built at Abydos during the first and second dynasties. They were marked with a steel inscribed with the king's names. The burial chambers were cut into the rock, lined with sun-baked bricks and faced with wooden boards.
Egypt is known for its magnificent and beautiful tombs. There are great differences that can be seen in the size, design, and complexity of tombs, which included pyramids, mastabas, and drop-cut chambers. Starting with the mastabas, the best structure to start with is the Saqqara Step Pyramid, where you can see how it all started. The mastaba was used by the early pharaohs of pre- and early dynastic periods, but faded out of royal use in favor of the pyramids. The word comes from the Arabic word for bench, and it was a rectangular structure that served as a tomb. The mastaba continued to be used by Egyptians who were not of the royalty. Egyptian's language, the term for a mastaba meant eternal house, referring to the final resting place of the dead. an exaggeration to say that the ancient Egyptians were preoccupied with death and in particular the afterlife. At the beginning in the pre-dynastic era, and continuing into later dynasties, the Egyptians worked at developing better and more complex methods of burying their dead. objectives in housing the dead was preservation of the body and protection from the outside. Saba usually stood as high as 30 feet and stretched about four times longer than its width. The location of the mastaba had much to do with the Egyptians' afterlife beliefs. Both 
holding it with a north-south position made sure that the soul would be granted entry to the afterlife. of the mastaba that stood above ground contained a small chapel for offerings. This chapel also had a fake door. During the body's rest, the family of the deceased and priests continued to bring food and various other offerings. This was part of the ancient Egyptians' belief that the soul could use items brought to its tomb on earth to sustain its existence in the afterlife. architect Imhotep built the first pyramid by placing six mastabas, each smaller than the one beneath, in a stake to form a pyramid rising in steps. Mastabas preceded the original pyramid. In fact, pyramids developed directly from mastabas, as the first pyramid was actually a type of step pyramid, which was constructed by staking one mastaba directly on top of a slightly larger one. tomb constructed as a true pyramid was the Red Pyramid at Dahshur, one of three burial structures built for the first king of the fourth dynasty, Snefro. for the color of the limestone blocks used to construct the pyramid's core. The pyramid started as a square mastaba-like structure and was developed into a six-stepped monument with an underground labyrinth of chambers and galleries cut into the bedrock. While mastaba is rectangular in shape, a pyramid is typically shaped like a triangle. Mastaba is usually made from mud brick. 
pyramid is made out of bricks and stones. In terms of burial, while mastaba is for non-royal burials, pyramids has the distinction of being used for royals. was the most typical type of ancient Egyptian burial during the New Kingdom. They were tombs cut into an existing, naturally occurring rock formation. These kind of tombs were primarily reserved for the higher class and royalty. cut into solid rock. This method was used during Middle Kingdom. Examples are found in cliffs along the Nile, burials in the Valley of the Kings, and tombs of the nobles at Luxor. In the New Kingdom, the kings were buried in rock-cut tombs. The Beni Hassan Cemetery is located in one of the most fertile regions of Egypt. This site includes some of the most impressive tombs of the Middle Kingdom. Its rich and well-preserved tombs attest the economic prosperity that it enjoyed. are located in two distinct areas, the upper and lower symmetries. The lower symmetry contains around 800 tombs, many of them shaft tombs. mostly contains tombs of various officials from the first intermediate period to the Middle Kingdom, but late Old Kingdom tombs like Epus have also been discovered. The upper symmetry includes 39 rock-cut tombs, which were cut horizontally into the rock face of the cliffs. The walls of 12 of these tombs are decorated with beautifully painted scenes depicting activities of daily life, from agriculture and crafts to hunting and playing games, and also war and the arrival of foreigners on Egyptian lands. of the upper symmetry are a testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural skills. They were cut into the rock with great accuracy, using simple tools like chisels with bronze blades, which were struck with wooden mallets. The tombs are the final resting places of the senior officials of this region. The 16th Upper Egyptian province, which was known as the Oryx Nome, they date to the 11th and 12th dynasties of the Middle Kingdom. Well, that was all for our backpack for today. Thank you all for joining us. We will be back. We will bring you more about Egypt and more about the beautiful sites. We always say that in Egypt, 
whatever you are looking for, you will find it in Egypt. We have the diversification of the tourism product. If you are looking for recreational, historical, cultural events, incentives, all in Egypt. That's why we always say Egypt has it all.